Well, Struggle Creek is not up as much as I expected it to be. That train's going to go out of the cover any second now. Guess I'm to point out, RJ Corman just recently replaced this steel rail here. It's got a lot of rust on it. Haven't really been a lot of trains on that rail. And this side's got a little bit of rust, but not as much as this side. There hasn't been a lot of trains through here to actually since they replaced that well was I think it was like Monday they replaced that still well and it's Thursday so I guess there's not been that many trains this week because they're all walking the line of course that's just my guess because usually there's a lot more trains this week there's not been that many <laughs> Every time a train comes, somebody does that. Every time. the train coming through here. Yeah, by the time I get off of work today, Sickle Creek's gonna be way up. We're gonna get another inch or two of rain here soon. Wow, uh, how Sickle Creek looks now at 9.30 in the morning, Thursday, October 29th, 2020. in L. I not sure what that means.
There's a lot of ghost riding this train. Something weird looking at the back of that truck. I think it's some kind of drill. <laughs> I thought I'd miss the train to run a few minutes later than usual today. I didn't get out of my house until a little bit later than usual because of the rain. Well, that well's got a little bit of sand to it, but not much. <laughs> I can see the grease and the flames greaser, which is located about a mile down, down the line here. Well, maybe, yeah, about a mile from here. <laughs> this will be right in my video. 